For us, the Tucson fuel cell represents a big change for the automotive industry and for Hyundai as well. Uh, it's the first volume production hydrogen fuel cell vehicle, which is really the next generation of electrification of uh, vehicles. It really uh, represents a revolution to the automotive industry. It's a pathway towards zero carbon uh, personal mobility. It's the first true transparent pathway to a zero carbon uh, personal transportation environment. At Hyundai, we've been working on fuel cell um, development for over 15 years. We've accumulated over 2 million miles in terms of durability testing uh, with our fuel cell fleet. So we have high confidence in this technology. We've reached a point where um, we feel our vehicles are ready for you know, mass introduction with the regular consumer. So for us, it's kind of telling consumers, you know, this fuel cell, it's really an electric vehicle. The main difference, of course, is that we're not just storing electricity with batteries on the car, we're actually generating our own electricity using hydrogen fuel. You know, when you think about hydrogen right now, uh, hydrogen is typically reformed from natural gas. One of, one of the most uh, readily available fuels in the world is right here in the United States. So it's a completely uh, homegrown fuel. And so regardless of what source the hydrogen is produced from, each one promises a reduction in greenhouse gases uh, from you know, what we see now with conventional gasoline products. Our engineers specifically chose a utility vehicle for this to just to, to make sure that the image in the marketplace would be that, that hydrogen is not limited to small passenger vehicles, but instead can be on large vehicles as well. So unlike uh, pure battery electric vehicles, the powertrain is completely scalable to any vehicle class. It's not limited to just small vehicle classes. We actually have to select the consumers who are eligible to, to lease this vehicle. And the reason for that is we want to make sure that where they live and, and their daily driving routine is compatible with this uh, refueling infrastructure. So right now in Southern California, we have six hydrogen stations. The coming years, towards the end of this year, we expect to have up to 13 stations. By end of next year, that number can be as high as 20 stations. And by 2016, we can see upwards of 48, 49 stations in California. And for that reason, we're going to be selling this car only in uh, Southern California initially. Then we'll be expanding to Northern California and other areas as uh, the uh, fueling stations are built out. We offer a three-year lease for this car that includes the fuel, so there's no question about what it'll cost to own and operate this vehicle for the life of the lease. When I thought about buying another car, I wanted to make sure that I could find something that was more environmentally friendly, also a little less expensive on the fuel. There's a few small electric cars, but the biggest thing I ran into is that they weren't big enough to re meet my lifestyle. With having a family, a wife, a kid, a dog, um, it's hard to do anything that's not an SUV. Uh, in the nature of work, I drive a lot visiting customers' homes um, all around Orange County, um, so this should save me a significant amount on fuel costs. So we do love the environment, and I think buying a car like this is a good step in the right direction to make sure we save those the, our environment for our children. So we're very excited about this very symbolic first delivery, but we're even more excited about the deliveries that are going to happen uh, right after that and continuing throughout this year and next.